Hi there, it's Sine again, coming at you with another unscripted video. Uh, today's uh, small excerpt, uh, a part of a larger video that I've done, um, is about fixed social buttons. These are small social icons that remain fixed to the side of the web page as they scroll down through it. This gently and quietly reminds them that um, they can connect with you socially, they can share your content on any one of a number of social bookmarking sites. Um, it's just a, a kind of subtle way to ask for uh, them to, to uh, share your content with them. So today's video, today's excerpt rather, will take a look at finding, installing, and setting up fixed social buttons. Now I'm going to be not quite so subtle and I'm going to ask you to look down below. I do have buttons uh, for you to share, I have stars for you to rate, and I have the ability for you to share your comments uh, with other users. And I appreciate it if you take a, just a moment and do that after this video is done. So come on, let's take a look at fixed social buttons. Okay, next up, let's talk about a plugin called Fixed Social Buttons. Now, as you can see here on my primary blog, that's these buttons right over here. And you'll notice that as I scroll my blog, they remain fixed. Uh, in other words, they're going to stay right there on the side of the blog as you scroll. Now, this will be on every page of my blog, and this will allow them to connect with my RSS feed, connect with me on Twitter or Facebook, or share my content on Technorati. Again, the more ways you provide for them to share your content, the more ways they will. So let's take a look at that particular plugin. Again, its name is Fixed Social Buttons. Uh, its link will be down below this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate it on this particular blog and then I'm going to show you there are quite a few little settings for that. Okay, now that it's active, let's go to settings and then we're looking for fixed social buttons. Now I suppose I should show you how it appears out of the box. Um, I've activated it and we'll just go ahead and save the changes. Well, I, I haven't changed anything obviously. So let's save the changes and refresh this page to see what it will look like. Okay, so there we go. Out of the box, it puts it uh, uh, horizontally and at the top. Now, if I wanted to leave it here, I might go in and edit my theme to pull my page area down just a little bit to get a little bit of differentiation between my social marks and the pages that I have. Now, there are some other options. You can use smaller icon set, for example, this icon set. Um, or you can, I, I kind of like obviously the uh, chrome silver, you can also change its orientation. Uh, so instead of using the smaller one, let's, let's go ahead and leave it the larger one, but let's put it at the bottom. Or, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do that and see what that looks like. Okay, so back over here and refresh. And it kind of hovers it so that it appears right at the bottom of the screen. Now, I find this a little disruptive. Uh, you may too. I, I like it either on the edge or at the top with uh, some dead space down there. Now one other thing you might be able to do is set up a rule that gives you a background here so that this stuff doesn't bleed through. I find that very disruptive uh, to my visual, <laughs> the way I look at things. So instead of horizontal, let's put it on the vertical, put it back on the top and see what that looks like. Again, that's uh, a lot like what I have on my blog. And there we go. So we now have all of the options that are there. Now one other thing we didn't set up, or, or rather that we haven't finished, is we haven't told it who we are. In other words, we haven't filled in our um, RSS feed URL, our Flickr profile, our YouTube um, uh, profile name, our Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace pages. Um, so fill those out with your IDs. The other thing you should do is uncheck the ones that you do not want to appear on the side. So if I, those that I've unchecked, if I now save it um, and then refresh it, you'll notice those that I unchecked went away. So pick and choose the ones that you want to see out there and then check them uh, here so to make sure that they appear. Choose your button style, choose where you want it to appear, whether or not you want it to open in a new window, and do you want the bots to follow it. Uh, be sure to complete these fields. It's kind of pointless for you to uh, include a Twitter link for them to follow if you don't include your Twitter name. Uh, so go ahead and, and finish filling these out um, and then save it. Again, this provides them with an additional way to share your content on the big social networks. The more of this you provide, the more they will. So. 
that's uh, fixed social buttons. I hope you've enjoyed that. Now on to the next plugin. This excerpt was provided as a courtesy to my YouTube subscribers. To see the rest of the video, please visit its home page by clicking the link in the description.